Hello there, Angela Giles here. Are you fooling yourself in your business? Well, I gave a second pause there because I wanted that to sink in. What am I talking about? What I'm talking about is, are you treating your business like a hobby? Are you treating your business like something you kind of do on the side and you have nothing else to do? Or are you treating it like a true business? Because let me tell you the difference. When you're treating your business like a hobby or something you do in your spare time when there's nothing else to do, which we all know that is hardly ever, guess what happens? The results are that of spare time, which we know, like I said before, there's not a lot of it, or a hobby where you spend one or two hours a week. Your results are one or two hours worth of work a week. It's not a lot. If you're treating your business like a true business and putting in the time and putting in the effort, the personal growth that it takes, and the business time it takes, you'll see the results of a true business. This is why I'm asking you if you're fooling yourself. Because if you think that you're going to go spend two hours a week on your business, which in my mind is a hobby, you will get the results of a hobby. What will happen is, is that you may make... If you're lucky, 40 or 50 bucks if you're in a, a traditional MLM or network marketing. If you're in you know, a direct sales more like Avon or Mary Kay or any of those type of things, you may sell one or two items, but the markup isn't that much. You know, Maybe 50% of maybe 40, in some cases maybe 60, I don't know. You, you sold you know, some skincare, you might make 20 bucks, you may make 50 if you're lucky. Sometimes you may make 100 and, and you may think that's a great, great, which is good when you're first starting out, but if you really want to make, you know, the 500, the 1,000, the 2,000, the 3,000, the 4,000 a week, whether it's traditional MLM or, you know, a one-up or two-up type of marketing or marketing system or sales system, you have to put more time in. And you have to spend the time doing personal growth and putting time in your business and learning techniques for growing your business and building relationships and planting seeds so that it will come back tenfold. And I'm just here to tell you, you know what? If you think that you want to build a business, then be honest with yourself. Ask yourself if you're fooling yourself if you're only spending an hour or two a week or an hour or two a month and you're blaming your results on your business. It's not your business, it's you. Because your mindset is not where it needs to be. And I know that may sound really, really harsh, but it's not meant to. I just want you to be real with yourself because it's awesome to be in a business. It's awesome to take the products or to use the products and if it's just a hobby for you or if you're just in it for the products, then be honest with yourself because it just brings disappointment to you if you think that you're doing a business when you're really doing a hobby and then what happens is you get discouraged. If you're more honest with yourself and you truly say, you know, this is a hobby for me. I might make a few dollars here and in a little bit of effort I do and I love the product and, and it's just a hobby for you. That's great. I think it's wonderful. In fact, 90% of the people in the business that I have in my primary health business are people that take the product and they're in it for a hobby. The other 10% are people that are my inner circle, people that I teach all my techniques to and they love it and they're making great money. And that's the difference. And it's okay. It's okay to do whatever you want, but I'm just saying be true to yourself. Don't fool yourself. Be honest about what you're doing so that your expectations can be set to where they need to be. So, you know, if you constantly are having your upline come to you and say, well, you know, what are your goals? And you say, well, my goal is to make $1,000 a week, but you're only willing to commit one or two hours, then truly your goals don't match your, expect your expectation or your goals don't match what you're, the time you're putting in, if that makes sense to you. I can't think of the word right now, but I think you know what I'm saying. So be honest with yourself. Set some goals that are true to what you're willing to put in, and you will see your business increase. If you truly want to build an empire and build a huge business, then you have to put the time in. If you want to keep it a hobby and just make a couple hundred bucks or a thousand if you're really, really lucky, then that is wonderful and that's great because it takes a combination of those people underneath someone that wants to make it a huge business to be successful and they have to help them. So I'm just asking yourself, be honest with yourself, don't fool yourself. See who you really are. See what you really want to do. How it fits your life. And I hope this message is going out there to those of you that needed this message at this time. And the reason I made this video is because there was a point in my life where I had to do some reflection and someone asked me that question. And that was the best question they could have ever asked me because it put me on the right path. And I had to determine what I was really doing. So God bless you. I hope that you go and just take a minute to rate my video. I'm Angela Giles. I love it when my videos get rated. It makes, it's just fun. I wake up in the morning and check it out. 
and contact me. You know, say hi, Skype me, email me, call me, whatever you want to do. My information is all out there. We'll talk to you soon. God bless you.